Welcome to Risk Garage, where we explore different risk management techniques and strategies. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use influence diagrams to identify, analyze, and manage risks. What is an influence diagram? An influence diagram is a graphical representation of the relationships between different variables that can affect the outcome of a project or decision. It's a powerful tool that can help us visualize and understand how the factors will impact the outcome. To create an influence diagram, we'll need to identify the variables that can affect the project or decision. These can include things like resources, timelines, costs, regulations, and more. Once we've identified these variables, we can then draw a diagram that shows how they're related to one another. Nodes are used to represent various situations, events, activities, and other project elements. A simple influence diagram may use just one shape to differentiate information in the nodes. In a more complex influence diagram, we could use rectangles to represent events or conditions, diamonds to represent decisions, ovals to represent risks or risk factors, and hexagons to show outcomes. Connectors, or arcs, are lines used to connect nodes. They are typically shown with arrowheads to depict the direction of influence. For example, as the risk node connects with an arrow pointing to the event node, this means the risk influences the event. Building an influence diagram. To build an influence diagram, we'll need to start by identifying the key variables that can affect the project or decision. The variables can be critical elements or risks. Next, we'll try to determine the relationships between these variables. For example, if a delay in one component can affect the completion of another one, we can show the dependency by drawing an arrow between the variables to indicate the direction of the relationship. Finally, we'll want to add in any additional information that can help us understand the risks. This can include things like probability estimates, potential impact. An important step to ensure the influence diagram is representative is validation. This can be done via inviting a few experts to review it. The comments or feedbacks will usually improve the influence diagram to better represent the risk scenario. Using influence diagrams in risk management. In recent years, influence diagrams have increasingly gained popularity in risk analysis as the diagram can help understanding the relationships among the components and risks. Let's use an example to illustrate how an influence diagram can be used in risk management. After identifying the variables and assessing their dependencies, an influence diagram has been developed to assess the cost impact of a house renovation project. The elements like project duration, built quality, labor, machinery, and materials have been identified. The project cost is denoted as the output. The relationships among them are represented by directed arcs. If there is a quality issue, it will extend the project duration for repair, which will subsequently increase the labor and machinery hours. Also, the repair will require new materials, which are not time-bound. Then all the cost components will be aggregated to generate the project cost estimate. Each of these variables can be impacted by risks. Let's identify and model a few risks in the influence diagram. Risk number one, the construction boom in the region can impact the availability of machineries and labors, and will drive up the costs. Risk number two, incomplete building design will affect the built quality. A risk can be triggered by another risk. For example, the incomplete building design can be due to shortage of design consultants. The relationship can be modeled in the influence diagram. Any variable or risk can be influenced by more than one risk. For example, the risk of supply chain disruption and the risk of imposing higher import tariff could drive up the material cost. The supply chain disruption can increase the project duration as well. Algorithm or formulae can be embedded to propagate the risk impacts through the influence diagram to understand the cost impact. Via quantification of risk impacts, we can rank the risks based on their consequences. We can use the influence diagram to identify the risks and develop mitigation strategies. For example, we can develop a mitigation plan to address the delay in materials availability by ordering materials in advance, 
or finding an alternative supplier. And we can develop a plan to address the increase in costs by negotiating with the contractors or looking for more cost-effective solutions. We can also use the influence diagram to assess the effectiveness of mitigation strategies. After assessing the post-mitigated risk impacts, we can propagate revised impacts through the influence diagram to understand the project cost outcome. We can do scenario analysis by adopting different mitigation strategies. Additionally, we can use the influence diagram to communicate risks to stakeholders and to monitor the progress of the mitigation strategies. Influence diagrams are a powerful tool for identifying, analyzing, and managing risks. They can help us visualize and understand the relationships between different variables and develop effective mitigation strategies. If you want to learn more about risk management and other techniques, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.